Leos! Subscribe! What up, players? Warbots stay up in this mood. And boy, do we have a treat today. It's the Citadel Fine Cast Cockatrice that was released with the Storm of Magic expansion pack for Warhammer Fantasy Battles. And I gotta say, I love this model. You know, I say that all the time, but this time, this time I really mean it. Just look at this baby. Oh, man. It's gonna be so awesome. It's gonna be so awesome to paint this guy up. Okay, so I, I took off the wrapping and I took out the, the box with all the pieces in it, but I haven't looked at it yet. So, cross our fingers. Let's hope there's no giant air bubbles or miscasts or all the many other things that Citadel Finecast has done to me over the past couple of videos with the Incubi and, and oh man, all the other Citadel Finecast figures I've opened so far has had like at least something wrong with it. So let's, let's cross our fingers, let's pray to the GW gods and our overmasters, our overlords, that, that they didn't mess me over. All right, so here we go. So it comes in this giant plastic box, or container, I mean. The container goes inside the box, and let's open it and check it out. Oh, oh fine cast. Here, smell it. Oh, so good. All right. Let's get in a little bit closer. And take a look at the detail on these wings. Oh, please. Look at, look at the detail on these feathers. Awesome. I don't see any miscasts. They kind of remind me of the old wyvern wings. Just the shape of them and the, the leathery texture in the center, but with all these added scales and then feathers at the bottom. Very cool. Okay, I don't see any miscasts there. Let's look at wing number two. Let's see how thick these feathers are, how liable they are to wear and tear if you just move them around. You're definitely gonna need, once you've got this thing put together, you're gonna need a safe way of transporting. <gasps> what the? What is, what? Is that a miscast? Ah, uh, whew. All right, that's not, is it? Is that? I don't know, I can't tell. That looks like a bubble. Oh, that looks like a bubble. Fine cast. Is it on this one? No? Oh fine cast. Are you just are you just playing with my emotions now? Are you just toying with me? Alright, well. Ooh. Nice. Heart attack, man. Is that a heart attack? Okay, let's look at the bottom of the tail. Sorry if that's moving a little fast. Scales, like a tail, the underside, like a snake. Oh, and of course, yeah, it's not Games Workshop unless there's some skulls around. That is so typical GW. Yep, oh, can't have just one, gotta have at least two. But no bubbles. No mold lines, it looks like. It's good. It's gonna take some cleaning, but man, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. I'm upside down! Go. Here's where the wings slot in. 
Oh, thank goodness. Oh, no crazy mold lines. Oh, thank goodness. See this one coming down the body, but at least it's not like a shift where everything is like shifted just like a millimeter off. So every like nothing fits. Looks like it's just a mold line that can be easily gotten rid of with a file or a hobby knife. Gentle scraping. All right, now what do we got here? It looks like talons and the end piece of the tail that connects to the bottom base part. Oh, that tail piece looks so wicked. Alright, so this is going to be a joy to paint. Let's take a look at the back of the box if you haven't seen it yet. Alright, Chicken Little. I am going to build you up. We'll see you when I'm done. Alright, players. Looky, looky what I have. My cockatrice is all built up. Green stuffed much of the mold lines that I found. And I can see I'm going to have to go back and add a little bit more to that. But other than that, he's ready for some primer. And look at this action pose. Oh, it's so awesome. So sick. So I'm, I'm really happy with the, the detail, the way the model came out. There is some mold lines I didn't see in my first section of this video, like down here along the tail, and here in the front by the under part of the tail, but other than that, not really too many defects that I could, that I could find. I found little air bubbles here and there, but really this you know, from far away you won't be able to see it. I can fill some of it in with some super glue or if I have to, if it's too big, like the gaps along the wings or by the legs, I'll green stuff them. I'll see if I can smooth out the green stuff too so it's not as, as blatant, but I think, yeah, I might have to do a little bit on the tail there. But I think once it's all primered, it'll be harder to see and then with some paint on it, hopefully the rest of the model will will kind of take away from any that I'm not able to get because really I'm, I'm a novice at green stuff like I don't I don't get it I don't understand how to not make it sticky and get fingerprints on it and I've got like tools but I'm just having a hard time I have a really hard time with green stuff and getting it done right so let's get a little bit closer if we can <laughs> so like the ones by the wing here I tried to green stuff to make it look like fur but uh, it's just such a mess. You're horrible at green stuffing! I know, I know, Cockatrice, I know. I know. So I'm off to get him painted and ooh, cross your fingers, everybody. We'll see you when we get back. All right, players, this is gonna be the last part of this first video because Oh boy, is this a doozy to paint. As you can see, I've got all of the base colors down. And really not much to say here. I just went for just even coverage. I know there are some parts that I just, I, I missed or I didn't get to. I'm not gonna worry about the skulls along the tails coiled, the coiled uh, part of the, the body. I'm gonna save those till last, so don't worry about that. But basically I just primered the whole thing white and then from there I went with these models, uh, the, the, on the model, the example paint schemes that that the GW Studio team used. And of course, it's not gonna be really much like this in the end because you can tell where they added in shading and wa washes and highlighting and modeled effects and where they made the feathers darker and lighter and the scales and everything. But, but this was definitely a great help especially for people who don't really know their GW colors yet and are thinking, oh, how did they get this color? How did they get that color? Well, this is the start of it. And from here, from these colors, this is the effect that you get if you go by the model, the, the finished model. The only thing that I changed was instead of painting the talons chaos black, any of the talons on the model, I went with a 
Caradon Granite. And I'm gonna do the same thing highlighting up, but I just thought black was just too, too black considering how colorful the rest of the model is. Other than that, I tried to follow the basic scheme that the heavy metal team went for. So I'm gonna wrap this video up, I'm gonna put it all together, throw it up on YouTube, and then while that is <laughs> rendering forever and uploading, I'm gonna be getting on to the washes and the highlights. But again, if you if you have this model and you have these colors, then you can pretty much get a great start to painting up the cockatrice model. All you need now are some washes and a little bit of highlighting, and then just use your imagination to add on the you know the spots and the the highlighting to the feathers or fur. I guess those aren't really feathers. Fur. These are the feathers on the wings. But thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this video and. I'll see you in the next video when this little puppy is all done up.